Today on the show, we're taking a look at Dabaru, an Autobot Twinferno from the Transformers Titans Return toy line, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, where all geek culture collides, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. As I said earlier, today on the show, we're taking a look at the Transformers Titans Return Deluxe Class Dabaru and Autobot Twinferno. Uh, I picked this up at Walgreens. It is a part of the Transformers Generations uh, from Hasbro. I uh, picked it up at Walgreens for $17.99. I saw him and he reminded me a lot of Sinner Twin from the original Transformers toy line from the 80s. I used to have Sinner Twin. Um, he was a combiner, uh, probably one of my favorite Transformers from the early years. Uh, I don't really get Transformers a lot anymore because they're so damn expensive, but I saw this guy, I had to have him. So let's take a look at the packaging here. You got Twinferno here and his uh, headmaster there. Nice little image on the uh, packaging. Um, I don't really know much about these Titans Returns toy line uh, right now. Like I said, I don't really collect Transformers much anymore. Uh, I don't watch the cartoons or anything like that. Uh, I watch the movies. Uh, th that's about it. I used to watch the cartoons back in the 80s and early 90s. But like I said, that's about it. Uh, everything I know about the Titans Return toy line right now I learned from watching Caveman. Uh, over on his channel, links will be in the description below. Uh, he does a lot of the Transformers uh, toys, along with Dragon Ball Z and Voltron. I really like this the look of this guy, so I had to have him. Autobot Twinferno, Titan Master Dabaru. Uh, with the Decepticons rising, the Autobots power up with the Titan Master partners to stop them. Dabaru provides an energon jolt that propels a bot's combat systems to peak performances. All right, so this one is works with compatible con, uh, Sawback, Autobot Hot Rod, Optimus Prime, and Six Shot. The last Transformer I actually bought was maybe two or three years ago. I bought them for my son. It was Optimus Prime. And I think it was from the mo the Transformers movie. Uh, I could be wrong though. Let's go ahead and bust this open. I don't have a blade on me. All right, and he comes with a little card. Autobot Twinferno, Titans Return. Very nice. All right. Got the instructions there. Go ahead and sift this packaging off to the side. All right, so sorry about that, guys. Uh, I had to really study this guy in order to get his transformation sequence down pretty well. Uh, like I said before, this is one of my first Transformers in a very, very long time. So I'm not really used to transforming him like many of you could be, should be. Uh, but he comes with two cannons. You can either attach them to his shoulders right there. Uh, I found that that plug there is a little bit too large. Uh, they'll they'll sit in there, but they won't stay. Uh, you can also attach them to his back or place them in his hands. Uh, the hands hold them pretty well, just like that. All right, so you can put them in his hands, uh, attach them to his back, right there. Uh, they do attach together. Take these uh, brackets on this one, just slide them in. 
just like that and then it attaches to the back through those two ports there with those two plugs it is a little tight but once you get it just right it plugs in perfectly all right next is the headmaster I found that when attaching and detaching the headmaster if you hold the sides you should be able to get it plugged in good if you hold it by the front and back of the head uh, the back wants to move around on you and you're not going to be able to really get it in uh, as easily as you want to so you just plug it in like that uh, take it out the same way and he just folds out now there's a couple different ways you can attach this guy to uh, Twinferno uh, the first way is he has peg holes on the bottom of his feet I don't know how well you can see that there we go and two pegs on the gun on the cannon he just plugs right in there and sits on the cannon uh, the other two ways I'll show you once we transform Twinferno. So let's go ahead and move him out of this way. <clears throat> Alright, so first thing you want to do is you want to turn Twinferno's arms to where they're facing backwards. After that, <clears throat> you unclip <clears throat> see there's a clip there that clips in right there you unclip it bring it forward both sides just like that then you'll bring it up this is a slightly difficult part because it's a hinge a double hinge so you've got to make sure that hinge comes up too if you don't it's going to be off and it's not going to want to connect so you've got to bring the hinge up as well and then those two pegs plug into those holes there and it connects just like that next is the feet uh, this it, it's easy to have trouble with the with the legs <clears throat> you unhook it here bring it around and then bring this up just like that bring the tail down and then the legs come out the feet come out then do the same with the other side And now I watched on MGO's review uh, he said these tabs right here go into the middle slots there however mine it doesn't do that they'll attach to the top slot uh, just slightly to hold it into place uh, and you've really got to mess with it in order to get it day it, it's not an, an actual tab it's more just like a holder see how that is like that and then you attach the tail together there's two flat pegs inside the tail tip pinch that together and then pinch the middle of the tail together and I found that the tail doesn't really like to stay in place 
it's very difficult to get it to stay. It's pretty difficult to get the legs to stay in place too. And there he is. There's Twinferno. So let's go over articulation. First things first, you've got the head, both heads, they move up and down. Um, they can, the, he, the neck moves up and down. The heads itself also moves. Uh, the neck can move side to side. Uh, they can turn. Uh, there's jaw opening. You can open it either by pulling on the bottom jaw or by pulling on the top part of the jaw. Um, the arms can go all the way around. They are on a ball joint. So that's nice. Uh, the legs they can move just like that not bad and then the feet they only move one way and that's for the transformation uh, there's no tilting upward or anything like that for it and then the wings can move up and down now I did say that uh, there are other ways for you to attach the uh, headmaster. Uh, we can either put them on here just like that. He can fly. Or you can take him off the cannon, just pulling him out and standing him up on these two pegs on the back of the uh, twin ferno just like that uh, or you can put him in a sitting position like that open twin ferno's chest and just sit him in there like that not bad uh, I do really like the paint job uh, as I said I got mainly got this guy because he reminded me so much of a transformer I had when I was younger called center twin uh, which was a combiner transformer uh, he was a part of the uh, Decepticons and I've watched some reviews on the newer versions of center twin and he's designed a lot like uh, Twinferno. So now let's go ahead and we'll change him back to his robot mode. So first what you want to do is start with the legs. Go backwards, just split them apart. <clears throat> we'll close the legs up. Turn it around, bring it down, just like that. Snap that back into place, rotate it to where the foot, the claw is on the back side, uh, the opening is on the inside of the foot, and you'll bring the point of the tail down to rest there. We'll do the same thing with this one, turn that part just like that so that you got clearance room bring it down like that plug this piece into here close the foot bring the point of the tail down all right let's go ahead and get the headmaster out close that back up and <clears throat> I'll go over the articulation of the robot mode here in just a bit. Uh, then 
we bring the heads down. What you want to do, you want to make sure the arms, the claw arms, are straight out just like that. Okay? So you'll bring it back just like this. The arm will fit in that groove right there just like that. Snap it into place. Do the same thing with this one. Alright. Make sure the claw is out just like that at 90, 90 degree angle. You'll bring it back. Snap it in. Alright. Bring. You'll turn the heads. And then you'll transform the headmaster back into the head. And he transforms just like that. Uh, from what I've seen of other videos from uh, Caveman and Emgo, uh, it's just like it, he transforms just like any other uh, headmaster. And then remember what I said hold on to his arms, the sides. So it's a lot easier because if you try holding on to his face in the back of his head, the back of the head will keep wanting to slide down. And you're not you're gonna end up breaking the peg head portion of the headmaster. So hold on to the sides, and the head is gonna plug in right there. It does take a little bit of effort. Alright. And now the <clears throat> articulation for robot mode. You have, once again, the wings flap. The arms go out. They bend at the elbows. Uh, once again, you have the hand articulation, which is the head of the uh, double-headed dragon. <clears throat> They can turn at the shoulder like that. Um, and then you have the legs, which the crotch plate here folds up. The legs can go up to there. They can go back to there. They can go up to there on the side. Uh, you have a thigh swivel knee joint and you have a foot tilt foot rocker uh, it can't go side to side there's the transformation and one thing I thought was really cool for this guy um, he can do the crane kick <laughs> it, it really looks like Daniel son Daniel LaRusso doing the crane kick <laughs> so that that's cool I thought that was cool uh, when I started uh, playing around with this guy transforming him and everything and uh, once again like I said um, you can put the cannons on his back like that you can take them apart, plug them in to his shoulders. Like that. Uh, however, you have the wings can't be out all the way if you do that uh, or you can disconnect them and plug them in to his hands like so and you can get them in a lot of really cool poses uh, you can have them down like this on one knee with 
firing just like that. That's a cool pose. I like that pose. Uh, you can have him standing up. He has no problem balancing really. Stand him like that. Very nice. Um, I, I just really like this guy. I you know I may start doing some more uh, Transformers reviews, uh, showing you guys how to transform them. Whatever. Uh, I'm I'm not gonna go crazy though and pick up every character in the line or whatever. It's just the ones that I I think look cool. I am a big fan of the combiners, so I may start collecting some combiners uh, as well. But there you have it, guys. The Transformers Titans Return, Dabaru, and Autobot Twinferno from Transformers Generations. I'm Shannon for Comic TV. Take care.